The Democratic Senator Patrick Leahy is the longest serving senator who's currently still in office. He was first elected in 1974, took office in 1975. He was only 34 years old at the time, becoming the youngest U.S. senator to ever be elected from Vermont. He was elected in the post-Watergate midterms following President Nixon's resignation. He's worked with nine presidents since. Senator Leahy is currently the president pro tem of the Senate, the chairman of the Senate Appropriations Committee. Uh, he announced he would not be running for re-election this November, closing out a very event full 48 years in office and somehow after all of that the senator found time to write a brand new memoir called the road taken it was published last month joining me now is the aforementioned senator uh from vermont patrick Leahy. senator thanks very much you you've been a, a great friend to our uh show over the years uh and you you often get up particularly early to join us on a weekend morning so i appreciate you being here no i i'm happy to be with you Ali. incidentally your commentary about the moonshot I remember when then Vice President Joe Biden came to Vermont to talk about it at the University of Vermont. I looked at the audience and I recognized so many Republicans, Democrats, all of them came up to him and said, boy, we support this. I think this is still something that, as you suggested in your commentary, so unite our country is trying to eradicate cancer. Yeah, I, I mean, I, I wanted to talk about it because it's one of the few things that we can actually talk about. That there, there are problems that need to be solved in this world that don't have to do with uh, partisan politics. And I actually want to want to talk to you about this because in an interview with The Washington Post, you spoke about why you think the Senate is broken. You said uh, there are far too many people more interested in getting something out of the next news cycle than they are in taking advantage of it being a six year term and doing things for the long term. Tell me how you think and why the Senate has strayed from that chamber that, that, that many people used to think it was. Well, you know, I, I keep copious notes, uh, da daily journals and so on. And when I started going, knowing that I was going to retire, I started going back to those notes. And I could really sense the, the changes. I wrote the book uh, primarily because of that. Uh, the Senate was never perfect but it was a lot better than it is today. Uh, look how it came together after the Nixon resignation, how it came together in uh, so many issues, 9-11, things like that. Today, you see, even when a mob is attacking the Capitol, uh, you have people, well, we don't know if that was a valid uh, election or not. <clears throat> the fact that Joe Biden got five million more votes and Donald Trump didn't seem to, to sway them. It's what can be the moment's soundbite. Uh, that's not what the Senate should be. I mean, as I, I keep saying to everybody, every new senator, when they come in, don't worry about the next election. People do often don't get reelected. Think about the opportunity you have to be one of 100 representing a great country of 325 million Americans and act accordingly. Uh, that's the way it was when you came there, but not that way today. I want to read uh, a passage from your book in which it, it, it's on the same topic. You say it's about keeping your word. It's about caring for an institution and believing, really believing, that in the end, when institutions work, when common ground is fertile, something grows that belongs to all Americans and all of America wins. Mm -hmm. I am not so naive as to assume that many or even most who pick up this book can remember a time when they looked at the Senate that way, not even remotely. I don't know that any of my recent colleagues can imagine their constituents thinking thinking of the Senate as the nation's conscience, but I can, and I miss those days. I thought that was very moving. You, you speak about it very much in the past tense. Can we get that back? Because if our politics doesn't work, what have we? If we don't get it back, we're in deep trouble in this country. You know, we've seen the uh, Supreme Court become more politicized and even members of the Supreme Court going out and speaking to political gatherings, extolling what they're doing, uh, that's wrong. And obviously, there's going to be partisan differences. I don't mind that in the Congress or the uh, presidency. But there have to be underlying things where we come together. And that's not being done enough. And if it's not, 
the country is going to suffer. Look, look what happened after January 6th. You had people say, well, we should separate the uh, the United States. We should remove one, the, some states here and there. That's not the United States of America. Uh, and look at some of the things we face today. We have the war in Ukraine. Uh, Donald Trump referred to Putin as being a genius. Joe Biden, in a very low-key, a very hard-working effort, brought our NATO allies together in a way that I've talked with so many of the NATO allies. They said they never thought they could be brought together with this kind of unity. And President Biden did it. And it has stopped. You had discussions earlier in the show about what's happening between uh, uh, Russia and Ukraine. It brought... Uh, Russia to a halt. It's a it's a sea change. Uh, I disagree, of course, with President Trump. I don't consider Putin a genius. I consider him a war criminal. Uh, Senator Leahy, we are glad to have you here. As you know, one of the things we do on the show is the Velshi Band Book Club. I suspect your book won't be making the list, um, and, and that's a good thing. Uh, <laughs> Senator Patrick Leahy of Vermont, he's no, the author. Allie. If I just interject one thing, I had my first library card when I was four. No book should be banned. Let people make up their mind. I am entirely with you on that, sir. Thank you for that. And uh, that's pretty impressive. Your first library book, uh, the library card when you were four. Democratic Senator Patrick Leahy of Vermont. He's retiring. He's the author of the brand new memoir, The Road Taken. <laughs>